Hello friends. So without further ado, let's jump straight into Pandas Data Reader, which according to me is one of the most versatile Python libraries to access uh, data from a lot of sources, from different sources, for example, Yahoo Finance, Google Finance, World Bank, Quandle, and whatnot. So let me first show you the documentation of this uh, library. There you go. <clears throat> so uh, this uh, documentation, like uh, a lot of uh, documentation for other Python libraries, is fairly uh, descriptive. And it tells you about uh, how to install it, the usage, the requirements. Uh, you should be able to meet uh, the requirements uh, of installation if you have Anaconda. Most of you will have no problem in that. And also it gives you the list of uh, the sources from which it can help you get the financial data from. So you can see Google Finance, um, Fred, Quandl, World Bank, whatnot. Uh, as you can see, there is no Yahoo Finance here, and that's because uh, it, it has mentioned on the top that Yahoo Finance has made some changes in its API, which is causing some problem uh, using uh, Pandas Data Reader. However, I can assure you that uh, you can still access uh, Yahoo Finance data using Pandas Data Reader, and that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. Uh, but in the meantime, let me just show you, for example, in Google Finance, how to extract uh, data from Google Finance and they explain how to go about doing it. So any source that you want to extract data from, you just click into that documentation for that particular source and it will give you a sample script of how to extract data. Okay, first let me tell you how to install it. So uh, as you can see, it's fairly straightforward using pip. pip install pandas data reader and you can install it uh, from your spider IDV directly all you have to do is put an exclamation mark uh, in front of this command and then just uh, run it I am NOT going to run it because I already have pandas data reader installed but uh, uh, if you want to give it a try go for it just put an exclamation mark and then pip install whichever library you want to install and then just run it and you should be able to have it in your python okay so let me show you how to uh, do it um, let me show you a sample data extraction so we first uh, import the libraries and as you can see as soon as you uh, put a dot you'll see all the modules that are in pandas data reader uh, as of now we only want data because that's what is used to get data from yahoo and uh, i'll show you how to go about it and also we'll need to import a library called date time Uh, and we need it because pandas data reader data module requires the date, the beginning date and the end date of data to be provided in uh, the date time format. Okay, so now you just uh, define the variables. So say you want to get data for Amazon uh, and you have to make sure that the ticker is the same as that in Yahoo Finance because we are going to use Yahoo, right? And start date equals to, um, I'll come to that and date. So say you want to have data for the past one year, right? So <clears throat> the end date would be uh, the date, I think it is dot date dot today. Yeah. So this is, so this date dot date dot today is actually, um, it, it will give you the date in today's date in the relevant date time format so i'll just show you how this will go so i just ran the libraries and then if you run this you see here uh, it's today's date 
24th Feb 2019 and this is the format that that uh, you get this data in and this is uh, the, the format that pandas data reader data module requires you to supply dates in so we'll have to go you uh, will have to use the date time format and then for start date let's uh, do the same thing and then subtract it by 365 days so for that i'll use a module called uh, i think time time delta or something yeah so time delta so this does nothing but uh, it will reduce uh, so it will take today's date and uh, subtract it with 365 and it will supply the result in the date time format right so you have pretty much all the variables that you need to extract data uh, for for amazon for the past one year so now let's see how to do it so data pdr dot uh, get data yahoo is what we are looking is what we want so get data yahoo so you can see different uh, different uh, like you know functions uh, which you can use to get data from different sources and i have tried uh, get data google quandle yahoo and all of them have been working so far so you may want to give it a try and then all i need to do is put in these variables and you should be able to get your data. We'll see. So this is it. So if I run this, I should be able to get uh, the required data. So it's running. It might take some time. Uh, it is run. So if I go here and if I go to data, you can see that uh, we have got daily data here, right? So we got get open, high, low, close, adjusted, close volume. This is the same information that you will get from Yahoo Finance website uh, under historical section for Amazon or for any other equity that you select to get data for, right? Uh, we can do one more thing here. Uh, we can also give an argument called interval. And if you want monthly data or yearly data, you can do that as well. So if I run this, you will get the monthly data so it's running and uh, it's taking slightly longer than it usually does and uh, okay so it has run now so if you see here uh, you now get monthly data, right? And if you're getting NAN values, that means for that particular day, there was no value. There, there was no value in Yahoo Finance to get to provide uh, the user. So you may see some NAN values, and I'll explain how to deal with NAN values later in this course. But uh, uh, yeah, so this is what I wanted to show you. So you can uh, so so the lowest granularity of extracting data is daily data. You cannot get intraday data using uh, using Pandas Data Reader because most of the sources that it gets data from, for example, Yahoo, Google, etc., they provide daily data. So that's the lowest granularity that you can go up to. There are some ways of getting intraday data, for example, five minutes, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes candles for free, and I'll I'll, I'll explain uh, you those uh, those methods in, uh, in in later in this course. But as of now, I just wanted to give you a hang of how to use Pandas Data Reader. And in the next video, we'll look at a slightly more complicated uh, question, uh, problem wherein we, we would extract the closed data for a number of tickers and how to do it. So uh, yeah, so I'll meet you in the next video. Thanks.